Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss about the case which is Fox versus Beer. Fox versus Beer is an English contract law case which applied the controversial pre-existing duty rule in the context of part payments of debts. It is a leading case from the House of Lords on the legal concept of consideration and it is also one of the most famous cases of contract laws. So let's know the quick facts of the case. Okay, the full case name was John Weston Fox versus Julia Ware and it was decided between 31st March to 1st of April in 1884. The fact of the case was, which is really interesting and very important to know, which is the appellant Dr. John Weston Fox owed the respondent Julia Ware a sum of 2,090 pound 90s after a court judgment. Beer agreed that she wouldn't take any action against Fox for the amount owed if he would sign an agreement promising to pay an initial sum of 500 pound and pay 150 pound twice yearly until the whole amount was paid back. Fox was in financial difficulty and with the help of his solicitor drew up an agreement for Beer to waive any interest on the amount owed she signed. Fox paid back the principal but not the interest. Then Beer sued Fox for the interest. The question was whether she was entitled to it despite their agreement that he wouldn't need to pay it. Thereafter, the issue of the case was, the respondent's case was that the promise not to enforce the judgment wasn't supported by good consideration because the appellant had only done what he was already contractually bound to do. The respondent relied on the rule in Penal's case which was decided in 1602 that part ma uh, payment of a debt couldn't be satisfaction of the whole. The judgment held that the House of Lords held that the respondent's promise not to enforce the judgment wasn't binding as Dr. Fox had not provided any consideration. Their lordships approved the rule in Pannell's case. Lord Silvern said that there had to be some independent benefit actual of contingent of a kind which might in law be a good and valuable consideration. However, Lord Backburn expressed some dissatisfaction with this, noting that by accepting less a creditor could in some cases gain a practical benefit. So more or less the uh, fact and the judgment of the case was this. I hope it will help you guys because this is one of the most famous cases of contract laws which is Fox versus Weir. And if you do like it, please uh, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you have any suggestion or uh, any question about this. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead.